Nutrition Fish. Nutrition Fish was one of my favorite. He was an improv, an entire improv. It's like, okay, what do we do with this character? <laughs> Like, Just make him uh, as obnoxious well, as possible. Well, it, well, what we were thinking was when we were scripting, it was like, um, okay, how do we handle like the future fish? Do we want to do like a little Karibo panel like the freaky fish guy? And we thought, no, because Naruto bridged it that a long time ago. <laughs> and um, then we thought about like, what if we just make him, you know, stupid? Like he can see the future, but he can't comprehend exactly <laughs> what that means. He's just seeing a bunch of different timelines at the same time. And he doesn't understand when is what or where he is. <laughs> I knew you'd do that! So you start to say, to say my roots. I can see the future! So that's kind of the thought we had behind designing like the entire uh, Kanasa race like that. Yeah. Go on, become strongest in the universe, and so does Duke. Tell me about the Freeze of Planet 4. Not since their species in America can keep it covered. I love that. I, I loved making that call back. <laughs> So you want me to sign both of these? Uh, or do you yes. Just want me to sign the Vegeta one. Or uh, actually, both of them, please. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Then do you have any like advice for uh, some people that are trying to get a YouTube channel popular? Like me and my buddies have been working on something for the last couple of months, and uh -huh. uh, we're uh, we're actually just starting to write some skits and stuff. Uh, it's just kind of. Uh, random ideas that we can or just think of spur of the moment. Um, yeah, how many subscribers do you have like right now? Like, like four, 14, just really low, or just a bunch of local people. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard. You just, one of the things is you just got to keep doing what you're doing just because yeah. you love it. Yeah, just I mean, persistence. That's why we do it. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I I kind of lucked out when I started doing Yu Yu Hakusho Bridge. Yeah. Because it was like, well, I mean, the entire story is I broke my back, so I literally had nothing else that I could do. <laughs> so I'm just sitting there in a chair, and it's like, click, what's this? Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. Because it's funny, I start finding other ones. I find Berserker Bridge, I find Naruto Bridge. I'm like, maybe I should try something like this. But what do I have? I look over, and the only only anime I even own is Berserk and Yu Yu Hakusho. So mm -hmm. it's like, and it was that. So <laughs> ripping the Yu Yu DVDs. I voiced over the first episode in one night, just kind of like, I didn't even have a script. I just edited it together. And like, man, that's it. All of a sudden, I was like, hey, this is pretty good, 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 this is pretty good! I love going close enough to make sure you in the Yu Yu Gi Oh! What the fuck is up? Your hair! Your hair, your hair, your hair, your hair, your person, or your boobs, your personality, and oh my god, <laughs> a rare shiny Mokuba, I have a master ball with your name on it. <laughs> we watch your guy, or your guys' videos like daily in class. <laughs> keep them recording from it endlessly. We've had some tea. Thank you so much. It's awesome.